What does it mean to be different? How does it feel to be rejected? These questions might seem strange at first, but if you think again, they're important. You don't know, and I don't know, but they, they know. They have never had the right to vote, never had a big house with a pool and a hot meal every day on their tables. They wash their clothes in the lake, and that is a true problem in undeveloped countries. And it can also happen in your country as well. There are many people on this planet. You and I are one of them. There are people of different colors. People of different beliefs. And we also come from different countries and continents all over the world. We all have different style of what we like and how we look like. We all also have different ancestors, but we all belong to one community. This is then what we call race, a classification of humans in groups according to their physical traits, ancestry, relations or genetics. What happens then when a boy is unfamiliar to a child? Maybe he wears different or ripped clothes, he is very very thin and his parents smoke and drink which gives him a bad history with others. He doesn't have any toys or new things. A child will not talk to him but will move on and not say hello. This child then thinks he is better than the boy. He is being racist without even knowing it because he doesn't even try talking to him. As this brings us to racism, which is a discrimination against someone thinking his race is superior. There are different types of discrimination. They can be towards color, which is also called shadism. It can be towards age, religion, gender, or national origin, and it's all over the world. In America, it is based on the whites against the blacks, while in Europe, it is the discrimination on the basis of ethnic origin as well as in Asia. Africa is more focused on similar racism discrimination as Europe, as it has been colonized by Europeans and as they left there are still conflicts of racial altitude. While we talk of Africa, there is someone we must be very grateful and he will always be remembered as one of the greatest men alive. It is Nelson Mandela. He was the first black president of South Africa from 1994 until 1999. He is called as the symbol of struggle against racism. He fought for the blacks to have the rights. And he was also the man who tried to show and explain that we are all the same, black or white, male or female. He has left a huge impact on this world and all of us. I interviewed a couple of people from different countries to see their thoughts on the topic of racism. Are there specific races that you don't like? Ja mislim da nema ni jedne rase koju ja ne volim zato što iako postoje samo tri rase na ovom svijetu mislim da smo svi mi jedni, mi smo svi ljudi i tako da boja kože nema nikakve veze. Would you spend time with a girl if she is Rom? Bi provodila bi vrijeme sa divojcom koja je Rom jer ljudi njih nekad smatraju malo na krivi način, ali ako je dobar čovjek, bila bi i dobar prijatelj. Do you think that all people are created equal? Mislim da jesu, jer svi smo mi ljudi i boja kože, oblik tijela ponekad nisu bitni. Do you live in a neighborhood where there is only your race? If there isn't, how does it make you feel that other races live there too? No, I don't live in a neighborhood where there's only my race. Um, where I live, there's a lot of people from different cultures living. And my whole life, I've lived in places like in an international community, places where there's people from different cultures and countries and races. So it's not a problem for me. I'm used to it and I actually really enjoy it. Do you think yourself as an open-minded person? Uh, yes, I do think of myself as an open-minded person because um, like I said before, my whole life I've lived in an international community. I've always lived in a place where there are people of many cultures and countries and races around. So I've gotten used to it and I think of myself as an open-minded person because of that. How does it make you feel that some people, um, let's say blacks, are mistreated or avoided by others, in particular whites? Um, I don't feel good about this because 
there's a lot of this going on right now in the world and I really think it's very discriminatory and we're all created equal it doesn't matter what race gender or color you are it's we're all the same we're all humans and we're all created equally so I believe that we should all be treated equally and that we should not be discriminatory to, to, towards others no matter where they're from when a person walks through the door what do you first notice about them like color are they female or male how they look like, what they have on, and etc. Um, I think the first thing I notice is really the way they, they, they are dressed. Uh, you know, if they are dressed to impress or if they're just casual. It's more that, I mean, I don't see, for me, I don't see any colors uh, whatsoever because me, myself, for instance, I'm in a, a mixed race relationship. My wife is white, my kid is mixed race, and uh, color has never been something that I focus on in my life. I always look at the person rather than even you know, rather than the genre or the, the whatever. It's really the person that I look at and uh, color is not really something that seems important to me really. And especially here in Dubai where you've got so many different cultures, uh, it's pretty much irrelevant. Do you know what racism is? Explain it in your own words. Uh, racism is um, I think uh, people have a small-minded fear of other other religions, other skin colour, or people that aren't them. Um, I think it's a really bigoted view where you, it's a lack of education really, where you don't understand something about somebody else. Someone's different, uh, so people have a, have a problem with that, and it's, it's wrong. Where do you think that racism is a big problem and why? Name a country or a country. Uh, where do I think that racism is a big problem in the world right now? Well, I think uh, at the moment the, uh, the biggest problem in racism right now is in America because you have the whites and blacks and then the, the, the whites are very supremacist, there's white supremacy and then also the black, they have their own groups as well so uh, whites are becoming too nationalist in their own way and uh, I mean from reading what I've read online and by living there for one year myself uh, there's still tension between the whites and the blacks I also wanted to focus on the country where I was from, and that is Croatia. I interviewed Radrika Mesnerich to answer, does she think that racism in Croatia is a big problem, considering she lived there for 45 years? Do you think that racism in Croatia is a big problem? No, Croatia is not a racist country. It is a touristic country, so I believe that most uh, people do not consider people of different races to be any different than the rest of the population. Although, I'm sure, some people there have personal um, opinions like anyone else on uh, anyone else in the world, but definitely I think Croatia is not a racist country. Some people seem to think that they are better than others and that can lead to conflict between them. The world already has enough wars and conflicts between elders due to their own personal beliefs of what a man is supposed to be or look like. We need to teach our children that people are people, we are all the same, no matter where we come from, how we look like, what color is our skin or what religion are we. We need to be in peace with other people because that is how we are a united community.